the bit to finally face a, an opponent. Oh yeah, it's about time. Um, we've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. No, nothing much to say. I'm just ready to go. Feel different knowing that this is the last year for you? Uh, I mean, yeah, you got that. What do you call it? Senior senioritis type type of feeling. <laughs> like you just try and enjoy every moment, and that's what it really feels like. Like even though I, it's just yeah. Even though I, it just yeah, that's what it really is. Just I'm realizing that the end's coming. So try soak up everything. You've also got a lot of hype this year. You didn't have that last year. Um, is that uh, what does that feel like? I mean, there's a lot of people expecting uh, big things from you. I mean, it was last year I kind of it was kinda, I was kind of new. All that uh, hype was new. So I mean, now I just like relying on what I usually rely on. Just like just focus on the day. It's not. Like there's no such thing. like I really don't care about the hype. It's just playing the game because I could lose the rap. I could give up a touchdown. I give up three touchdowns the next day, you know. And everyone's probably gonna be bashing me and like, oh well, this is, the hype's not real. Then you know, people are gonna say what they want to say. So like I'm just playing the game for our, my, me, my teammates, my family. And so just um, and at the end of the day for myself because I love playing the game. So I mean, yeah, I'm just having fun out there, really. How are you better this year than you were last year? I think mature. A lot more experience. The game is really slowing down. So, uh, and really, that's what you really want from a player, just to get get comfortable. Really. I, I hear that a lot about the game slowing down. What's that like in actuality? What's it like on the field when you see that? What does it allow you to do? It's just you just seeing you just seeing it so much, seeing different types of plays from different types of offenses, and uh, just seeing people's mannerisms and like, how people approach the game too. Just you know, just feel the whole game in general, just knowing the game. And uh, in that sense, it just kind of helps you, you know, see a lot more. What do you think about Seth Wallace being a head coach this week? What's he, what is he, uh, how, how would you describe his mentality? Uh, I mean, nothing's, I feel like nothing's going to change. Like, that's, that's Seth Wallace, our middle linebacker head coach. So he's going to have uh, a certain attitude. And uh, I, mean, I know, like, <clears throat> he stepped in, and, like, no one like, hesitated at all because like, he's the, the man for the job. Everyone respects him in the building. So, I mean, yeah. Everyone's got a lot of respect. So. Will it be a little different not having Kirk on the sidelines? And is there a little motivation? Like, hey, let's, we know Kirk can't be there. He, want, he wants to. We, let's go win this one big for him. Uh, I, I would say, though, yeah, I would say that a little bit. Um, like, yeah, Kate wants to be out there. You know, he, he's going to have a feeling of missing out. And, uh, we just, yeah, I would say we like, want to do it for him. But uh, at the end of the day, like, we're also doing it for each other, like teammates. And you know, he's part of the team, of course, Kev. And uh, so, yeah, I would say there's a little bit of that. Yeah. I always wonder, playing cash and having the responsibility of, in some cases, kind of like a Leo in certain formations and things like that. Mm -hmm. And you're sometimes going to head up with somebody who outweighs you by 100 pounds or more. Mm -hmm. What do you do to avoid, I mean, getting <laughs> you know, right in front of them because you've got some advantages, but then there's some disadvantages too. Right. Uh, like you just said it, like there's sometimes I just got to know how to play my cards. Like sometimes I it depends where I find myself at. If like I just have to have the better leverage. Sometimes I gotta avoid the the big guy because I know if I get in a, find myself in a tricky situation, he could just wash me down. And uh, sometimes I just gotta just outmatch him. Like just because, like just like what I mean by that is just like become more of a, the aggressor, you know. And I'm in the box for a reason, not because like I, my size, but it's because I'm more. A, more of an aggressive player, more physical player. So, uh, I mean, and I trust my abilities. I know when I like when I should do something, when I shouldn't do something. Like, should I really, you know, if this guy's got too much weight on me. Should I really just dive in the hole and just get washed down? Or little things like that. Just, uh, just knowing how to play my cards. When you guys are in traditional four three, are you still sliding back to strong? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm still playing strong in uh, the, the cast position. So. You go against you go against this offense a lot. Um, have you noticed a lot of changes, a lot of motion, a lot of misdirection, deception? Maybe a little different than last year from what they're throwing at you. It's about uh, Iowa's Iowa. offense. Oh, Iowa. When you go against them in practice, have you noticed some some changes, some noticeable changes that people will kind of see on on Saturday and throughout the year? I mean, yeah, if you compare it to last year's offense, I would say, uh, I mean, it's a new, a totally new offense. Yeah. Uh, you got some motions here and there, try to throw you off, and uh, I mean, yeah, that, that that offense got me just playing. With them through a, through a spring ball and fall camp, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they got me better, got my eyes better. So uh, just, uh, I mean, yeah, they got me a lot better in the run game and the pass game. Wow. So uh, I mean, yeah. You mentioned getting better.